Well, a few months ago, Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza over in Epcot officially opened to unveil the new brand new Epcot or the overhaul of Epcot. And it was met with pretty underwhelming responses and many people even saying that it was an embarrassment to what Epcot is and was. Well, one of the biggest complaints outside of Communicore Hall just basically being a run-of-the-mill dining hall that you would probably see at a community college was Communicore Plaza. Now, this was the area where there's the Encanto show. There's supposed to be, you know, it does have some elements for a nighttime area, but it's supposed to be maybe where you could do concerts. There could be a lot of things going on probably for festivals here. Well, the big issue here is that there's absolutely no shade in the middle of the day. You just absolutely bake in this area. And considering that, you know, Orlando is the devil's backyard, as I like to say, it's not a great spot to be. I mean, nobody really wants to hang out here to watch a show or anything else. And, uh, you know, me personally, in a video that I made on the, about it on this channel, uh, I don't understand how it gets through multiple, you know, I would assume layers of approval before somebody raises their hand and says, you know, hey, this is Orlando and not California, but I digress. So it seems that Epcot or Disney, at the very least, is somewhat listening to people and they recently put in a little bit of shade in this area. So we have an article here from Blog Mickey that we'll go through real quick and see if this alleviates the issue over here. So, hi, I'm Jared with Capture the Magic. And so, like I said, the article here is Cornhole Game Changer, Shade Added to World Celebration Picnic Area at Epcot. So uh, they're going to say, and what can only be described as an overwhelming victory for the Epcot Epcotians, uh, HOA, Disney has finally decided to add shade to the picnic area and world celebration. I don't know if that's being sarcastic. I hope they're being sarcastic. While it took years for the picnic area to even be built, it didn't debut with any sort of shade. And said, here's a look back at the area when it first opened back in June. So yeah, off to the side here, this is a picnic area that um, just right out in the sun. I mean, look at those, look at those massive umbrellas at those tables. <laughs> While visiting Epcot earlier today, we noticed that the shade had been added to the structure. Uh, making the area far more palatable than before. I might even go as far as to say the area is nice now. As you can see in our photos below, there's a large shaded tarp strung around half of the area, and the tarps actually block out quite a bit of the heat felt from the unrelenting summer sun. Uh, it says, unfortunately, there isn't 100% coverage, making sitting at a few of the picnic tables below somewhat uncomfortable. But at this point, we'll take what we can get. I suppose if you really want to get out of the sun, there's always Communicore Hall. So this is in one small area, and these, uh, I would say, this looks like reminiscent of what used to be in the middle of Epcot, but as you can see here, there's still plenty of areas where, you know, you're sitting in these tables and the sun comes in, and I would also just note that um, the rest of Communal Core Plaza is not in the shade. I think, I suppose on one hand, I'm like, okay, they listen to feedback somewhat, good on them to do that. Uh, second, I've still been baffled as to how that this entire area opened and shade was not something that was on the forefront and not only shade but just coverage from rain i mean it's florida it rains daily especially in the summertime so i'm just very confused as to why there was no thought given to like hey let's give people a refuge from you know the sun and storms that come through and you know make it nice like who want i mean Let's be honest. Who wants to sit at picnic tables? Like in this picture right now, I can feel the sweat. I live in Florida. I can go outside right now and be like, I'm good. I'm going to go back in the house. So the fact that you'd be in a theme park and this wasn't something that you immediately thought of. And this has been added. Okay, I guess. I mean, in the fact, you know, there's you can play cornhole here. I suppose you go to Epcot to play cornhole. You can do that as well. So on one hand, I, I suppose credit where credit's due they listened and and put some things in here because they could and it more than likely this area was probably meant to have it now why it didn't open with it there i don't know but the fact remains that the rest of communal core plaza does not have any shade and i don't know if they will be adding any to it i believe that they could do something like this above it but again i don't know if they want to do the costs that are involved with that but either way i suppose if you're going to epcot and you are going to be in communal core plaza and you do want to get out of the shade, you can go into Communicore Hall, which is, this, you know, your basic dining hall to community college, or you can go over here and find some triangles of shade to hang out in. And I mean, I, I assume if you get in one of those, and it looks like there's fans over there as well. So, I mean, uh, you could get a breeze out of the sun if you're in that shade. That's not terrible. But yet again, I think it just goes into the lack of real forethought and planning that came to this whole area. Uh, but either way, 
there is some shade there. So I pose that's a win on some level, but that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel as we do lots of coverage here of Disney World, Universal Studios, Epic Universe, and pop culture news. And let us know in the comments what you think about all this. And until next time, we will see you in the parks.